What if you have something that is bulbous and bulky and takes up a lot of warehousing, but you also wanna have thousands of different variations of eventually? Well, you can really only use 3D printing, which is why Uncommon Lamps decided to use 3D printing for their products. So Uncommon Lamps is a company that we have been working with for quite a while, and they are a custom pendant lamp company. They end up licensing designs from different types of designers and then selling them through their website and their various other channels, including places like Etsy. They are able to create large variations of all types of beautiful lamps in order to match the aesthetic of almost anybody's home. But this is all enabled by 3D printing. If they were using traditional manufacturing, the only way they could possibly get this done would be to create hundreds of rotational molds that are probably held in some other country in order to support the creation of these lamps. But those molds are expensive to create, and then once the lamps are made, you have to create a bunch of them and then store them. And these things take up almost a cubic foot of volume a piece, which means that storing them in a warehouse for five to six months almost absorbs any sort of profit that you otherwise would have had. But 3D printing is able to enable this in a couple different ways. First of all, it's able to produce the products on demand. So when an order comes in, it's able to be forwarded to us here at Slant 3D where we print it off and then mount in the lighting module and then pack it up as uncommon requests. And they don't have to pay for warehousing or storage, they just have to pay for essentially a pick and ship fee. This lets them reduce the amount of cash outlay in order to produce parts and are able to focus on design and focus on customer support and content rather than focusing on where are we gonna store all these things and how are we gonna pay for them until they're all sold. It also allows them to experiment because at any time they can introduce a new design and see if their customers like it. And if they do, then they can create more variations of that design. It's a really great application. And even more so than that, they're now able to create impossible designs. Before I had mentioned that the alternative was like rotational molding these things, but now they're able to create sort of intricate models and designs that would not be moldable in any other sort of format. So they're able to create something that is completely unique and differentiated from any low cost competition that would ever come out onto the market. They're able to create something beautiful, something unique, and something valuable as their customers ask for it. And they're able to get past all of the logistical guff of traditional manufacturing, like storing the things and shipping them around. Shipping around a cubic foot of volume is also really expensive, but now they're able to make that all disappear because they use a warehouse where the shelves make the product. But it's a great market to be in too because they're focusing on the actual product itself. They're able to focus on making something that a customer wants rather than trying to sell a file or a machine to somebody so that somebody else can deal with the problem of making the thing. They're making the final finished products. And they're products that are quite successful. While we are not allowed to divulge full sales numbers for Uncommon, we do know from other research of other 3D printed lamps that is public, that many companies are selling thousands of these units per year. Some of them are selling tens of thousands of units per year. So they're in a great market where they're able to retain margins, create something valuable and beautiful to the customer, and create a new sort of business model that had never existed before because it was never possible to exist before. They're able to get access to large scale print farms so they can meet the demand of their customers, but then they are able to eliminate the cost of warehousing, shipping, molding and everything else to produce a final finished product that is really beautiful, will go in somebody's home, that somebody will appreciate for forever. And that is what makes Uncommon special. They're creating products that stand alone and apart from what has ever been or ever could be made before. If you want to see other stories like this, check out our other real 3D printed products videos. We love talking about these companies that are making real actual products real people buy who don't know anything about 3D printing and don't care. So we love to highlight these types of stories. Comment down below if you know of any. And of course, like and subscribe and have a great day, everybody.